Hi guys, I wasn't planning to film today, so excuse me, looking like an actual egg, but you wouldn't have believed it was Mordor this morning, it was dark, it was raining like crazy, and I was like, oh okay, I can't film, but because it's so windy in London right now, the wind has blown all the rain clouds away, so it's actually really sunny and nice to film a video, which I'm so grateful for. So today I want to do another makeup look. I know I want to challenge myself creatively on this channel, but to be honest, I don't have the time nor the energy. And if this was my full-time job, obviously I'll put more effort into it. But today I just want to sit down and take you through a pastel summery makeup look that I've been obsessed with recently. But this is gonna be with a twist. I've got a couple products that are really new like this one here which I won in the giveaway and that I actually haven't used yet so it's going to be sort of a slash first impressions haul so I think we should just get started so if you want to see the end look then carry on watching so obviously the first thing we are going to do is prime our face and this one is pretty new to my makeup collection and it's a simple glory one heck of a blot instant perfecting power primer this is basically a £10 version of the Benefit Professional. If you're looking for a cheap alternative, but still sort of bludge your skin and makes it look sort of photo edited sort of style, then you would definitely love this and it's basically over half the price. So this is all I've been using and it's like a clear gel, just like the Benefit one. So I always put it on my nose, my chin and my forehead and as you can see there is still cloud so it will get darker and lighter through this video so we'll round it in like that i really love this primer i don't know if it's like a placebo effect thing but i really think it helps my makeup stay on for ages next thing i'm gonna go in with my new foundation which i've never actually tried before from rimmel rimmel is actually one of the best drugstore brands for foundation so I decided to get the Wake Me Up Skin Brightening Foundation with Vitamin C and I'm in the colour Ivory and it's SPF 20. It's a very light foundation and it's amazing for summer and you just want a light coverage. It's slightly darker in colour than the other foundations in the range but it gives me a nice sort of glow. Once again I'm taking my Sculpting brush from Royal Tea, I'm going to blend that in. It's so light, it's so easy to blend in as well. You can tell on one of those YouTubers that doesn't care for mirror shows. Because there's a lot of like makeup tutorials that I watch and the people are like looking right down here. And I literally can't do that, like how can you do that? Blendy, blendy, blendy. And now it's time to go in with concealer and obviously like I said in my last chatty spring makeup look I used three concealers because my under eyes are so dark they literally make me look like a zombie so that's why I can never go to work or out in the shops without putting a bit of concealer on if I want to have a no makeup day I will make it a no makeup makeup day so I literally just put concealer my brows on some stay matte powder and mascara and that's it but I literally can't have a proper no makeup day so I'm going to use the sleek colour corrector and I'm going to use the orange for my under eyes which is obvious because look I've hit pan on it and the green for any red spot bits <laughs> then I'm going to do the NYX start circle corrector I like to put that on my under eyes. I hate it when your nail gets a bit too long and you accidentally actually dig your nail in a product. That really kills me. Doctor Who update by the way. It's getting so flipping good. I actually really like the series. I think Bill as a companion just makes the series like I said in my last video. And honestly, it's it makes me really emotionally happy like in the last episode I was basically about to cry because I loved it so much and then now I'm going to go in with a 17 Wow Skin Concealer 
the best concealer from 17. Forget Last Imperfection, this is the best. Oh my god, there's so much. Blendy, blendy, blendy! I'm filming this at like 4 in the afternoon, so I'm gonna have to take my makeup off soon because I wanna have a bath <laughs> and put a face mask on. And obviously, I'm gonna go in with my expert face brush from Real Techniques and the name is actually rubbed off that's how long I've had it I think I've had these brushes about two years and I wash them once a month and I tend to use baby shampoo because that's the most effective thing I've found that actually cleans it and I'm using my trusty Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in transparent but this one for some reason is really crumbly like I've never had that problem with their powders but this one just seems to crumble everywhere, which is really sad. Okay, we're gonna get to the fun part, I promise. But next we need to do a contour and blush and then my eyebrows and then the actual fun part starts. So I'm doing my 17 to find contour contour kit, which is like my standard. Blush is the blushing heart from Makeup Revolution or the sister brand I Heart Makeup and it looks like this and it makes a really nice peachy shade. I just forgot about the bronzer. Damn it guys. <laughs> okay we're gonna go in with the Benefit Hula which is the travel size because I can't afford the large size but it's still amazing and I use my blush brush from Real Techniques because it's really good anyway. Obviously this one doesn't have like highlighting bits in but it's still really good at giving you nice colour to your eyes and the clouds are coming back in. Hooray! Thank you for making my setup really dark. And then get my spoolie and do my eyebrows. You guys know how I do my brows, you've seen probably every makeup video I've ever done. So I'm gonna leave you here and I'll be back. Bye 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 bye! And we are back with a semi okay eyebrows and it takes me a bit quicker than usual to do them but it still takes me forever like you could sit with me and watch me do them and we'd be here till 2047. So now it's finally highlight time. Highlight is probably one of my favourite ever steps when doing makeup and I can finally try out the Makeup Academy and just your skin shimmer highlighter and it's it's a really beautiful yellow tone highlighter. If I open it. Oh a really pretty highlighter and I hope it does a really good job. Like I said, I won this in a giveaway and I've been holding off trying it because I want to do a first impression. And I think this video is a perfect opportunity. So I like to use my fingers to be honest. And I'm gonna do my brow bone, my nose, my cupid's bow and my cheeks. Ooh, really quite nice actually. It's a powder highlighter. So it's quite easy to apply. I'm gonna be a golden goddess, guys. What I really want to try is that unicorn highlighter from I Heart Makeup. It's like this, but it's a unicorn rainbow highlighter. So now is the fun part and it's eyes. So like I said, it's gonna be really pastel pretty. So we're just gonna go in with this pastel pink here. And then I think the outer corner is, is going to be this purple. But this purple looks pretty dark, but it comes out quite light anyway. So I'm going to apply the pink all over my lid and then sort of blend in the purple from there. I'm just doing my under eyes now, but doing the same thing on there. And I think I'm actually going to put some highlighter in my inner corner give it a bit of pizzazz. Why can't I never open this? <laughs> now with mascara and I'm using the Miss Manga 
my good volume from L'Oreal. Literally can't wait to finish this because I want to start using my Sofa Glory one. And that is that. And last but not least, lipstick. And I've decided to go ring with Matte Flower Teddy because we've got a lot of pink going on the eye. So. Trying to work out if the lipstick actually looks great or not. Actually, I think I might put a different lipstick on. I'm back again. <laughs> this time I decided to put that barrier matte me up in the colour pose on again, which I put on in my last video. So I think that actually ties the look together really well. My hair's always fluffy when I do these videos, why? guys enjoyed this video and I gave you some inspiration of what looks to do in the coming months so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe also click the notification bell below to get updates for the next upload I upload every Friday so look out for that and hope you guys have a lovely week and I'll see you all next week bye